This animation schematically shows a new concept for measuring the mechanics of complex fluids at small length scales. We call this method bubble microreology, as it utilizes a single gas bubble as a rheological or micromechanical instrument. As for any mechanical test, here we want to study the deformation of the material in response to an applied stress, or vice versa. A time-dependent stress is applied by varying the hydrostatic pressure, here in a sinusoidal form, as a function of time. This leads to a time-dependent stress in the complex fluid of interest, concentrated in the vicinity of the bubble. The strain deformation of the material is characterized by following the size of the bubble as a function of time. For a completely elastic-like material, the strain deformation of the bubble would be completely in phase with the applied stress, while for an ideal liquid, it would be out of phase. In a similar experiment, a step in the stress can be applied by ramping the pressure up or down at the beginning of the measurement. The bubble will now adjust to its new equilibrium size, where the characteristic time scale for this adjustment reflects the typical relaxation time of the complex fluid of interest. The bubble rheometer thus enables us to study the viscoelastic behavior of complex fluids at small length scales. As the main mode of deformation in this experiment is elongational rather than pure shear, the method also offers new possibilities for measuring elongational viscosities, important in many applications, but currently still difficult to measure accurately.